Good morning. Hey, it's me, the early bird. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Yesterday was absolutely shocking, um, but today is looking much more promising. So today's topic is uh, layer cake. It's how to take um, potential clients from being potential clients, all those people that are watching you on the outside, that are taking away all the freebies, but are not actually stepping up, putting their hand in their pocket and buying from you. And there's a specific way that you do that. And I get asked this quite a lot. So I thought I'd share it with you today. So it's called the layer cake. So don't forget, if you're watching this live, say hello, give me a wave so that I know who's watching. Uh, and also if you're catching up on replay, then just put me a little comment replay in the comments below so that I can see who's watched it later. Gives me a really good indication of who's interacting and who's getting great value. So, um, so there are four stages to the way that a customer starts to actively engage with you. And this is particularly on social media. So I've always said this, the most important thing that any um, business has is its database. It's your most valuable asset. And that's because when, as we covered yesterday, when you start getting really clear on your niche and you're attracting those people into your world, they, if you're smart, are added to your database and so that database is full of potential perfect clients. Now the great thing about a database is that you're in charge of when it goes out. The problem with social media is, because as I said yesterday, we're just so busy, we pop into it when we've got a minute. It might be lunchtime, it might be in the morning, it might be in the evening when the kids have gone to bed, you know, that sort of thing. But where, in, as a, as a um, customer, I'm uh, sorry, as a company, we're not in control of when our potential clients are actually seeing our stuff. So by collecting that data and putting it into a database, you can send it out when you feel is going to be the right time for them. And the other thing about automating it is and using one of the software products like MailChimp or MailerLite or whatever it is that you use, you can actually see who's opening them, who's clicking on the links. So it gives you some really intelligent back end data. So I encourage you to use one of those um, because it helps you to make really smart decisions. I've done a little U-turn there. Um, I'm doing what I call my Billy Connolly. So we'll go in a big long circle and come back to the story where I am. So sorry, I've gone off track. I'll get back to the point. Get back to the point, Francis. <laughs> okay, so first layer of your lovely customer cake is, it's where they um, are wary. They're checking you out a little bit. That's like, oh, what are they trying to sell me now? We all know it, don't we? Because we've been there. We've been on the receiving end of it. So your job is at that point is to um, give them a little bit of free information, a bit like what I'm doing here, really. You're showing them where your expertise lies and your, and and what you're doing then is encouraging them to step up and in exchange for your expertise, you want their email address. Now, um, I wouldn't give away just any old thing. I'd really think about who your perfect client is and what they would value. I call it a valuable free offer. And that's because um, they then start to respect you because it's not just any old thing. And this is where your systems and processes start to come into place. Because if you set this up properly, it's all automated. You don't have to do a thing apart from keep, you know, 
like I'm doing here, stepping up live, but the system will take care of the rest of it. So your free download is there, ready, prepared, all that sort of thing. So the next stage is curious. So they're now curious at this stage because you've given them their free download. They like what you've given them. And um, they're now like, oh, actually, do you know what? I, I quite like this person. I respect them. I respect their authority in that subject area. And this is where you're asking them to take the next step of the layer cake and you're asking them to actually put their hand in their pocket and pay you for something. And this is what we call, um, in marketing, we call it the tripwire, because this is where they actually trip over onto the other side of being a non-fee paying client to a fee paying client. Now you're not going to put your hand in your pocket and pay hundreds of pounds the first time you ever work with um, a, a potential new service provider or buy a product. What you're going to do is you're probably going to be comfortable paying 10, 20 pounds, maybe even smaller than that, maybe a fiver. Um, and, the, and you can almost hear the cogs whirring when they're doing that decision making process. It's like, okay, that's not too much. I like what they've given me so far. I know that this next thing is going to be a value for me because you know who they are, you know what their pain points are. So yeah, I'm gonna put my hand in my pocket and I'm gonna pay for that thing. So now you've got them. They're totally in your tribe. They're liking what you do and the evidence of that is they've actually put their hand in their pocket to pay you for that thing. So now we move up to the next layer. And the next layer is invested. They're totally invested in you and your stuff. You know that if they bought from you before, they will probably buy from you again. But it's your job to keep them engaged and to keep them educated and keep serving them. So you need to keep them a, a hot lead, keep them um, active, vibrant, connected. And that's where your email database comes in. So I would, um, as a minimum, I'd be sending out one email a week, sending them little tidbits on how they can use your services, or it could even be stuff like, I saw this, this celebrity is doing this thing. Isn't this amazing? Um, this has come up, this is, you know, you're at the forefront of your education process. So you should be showing them all the new things that are coming out because um, you're there, you're now the authority in that particular arena, arena for them. And they might not be in the market to buy your products right now, but they are a potential client. So by using that email database, what you're doing is you're nudging them and saying, I know that you're a beautiful new, a new, a new client of mine, and I know that perhaps you're not quite ready now, but here I am, and when you're ready, you know where to come. That's what it's all about. So finally, they um, are loyal clients. This is where they become your advocates. This is where you can start to um, offer them higher, fee, you know, higher packages, um, higher products, Perhaps you might go to something that's maybe between the 50 and 90 pound mark and just making them put their hand in their pocket and pay a little bit extra for something. Or perhaps you want to be brave and offer them maybe a 500, a 1000 pound product, but give them the option to be able to spread that cost over the next, you know, three or four months if it's a longer type program or if it's something that's a lot deeper. But what you're doing there is you're educating them, you're keeping in touch. And what happens is people buy with their hearts, not with their heads. As I said yesterday, they buy with their emotions. And the key to keeping them engaged is the way that you communicate with them. Um, you can do it live like this, you can record it by video, and this is a way that you get a much deeper level of connection if you do it face to face. Um, if 
But what I would say to you is do it in the way that you prefer. If you're a writer and you love writing, then write it. Perhaps there might be some links to different things. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the four layers of my beautiful customer engagement layer cake. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow, I put a poll in the group to ask you what you'd like to know about. And the one that I think's created most interest is the creative marketing campaign. So I'm going to talk to you about that tomorrow um, and give you some examples of ones that I've done in the past with clients, ones that I've known that have worked. And if you know of anyone else who's interested in coming to join us, then pop along, uh, ask them to join us in the group and um, I'll, see you I'll see you then. See you. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.